fast hit coming in from Genji wow. with the going down on the A site. Envy with three coming into the site. Genji just plows right through that one. We're going to be seeing if they can retake here. FNS looking to come around from behind, as you would expect the Cypher doing a bit of the lurk, but Envy takes him down. Crash, he's trades it out, but he gets the retribution. Trying to get the ghost. Getting a little greedy there for a few more guns. Himself taken out, but it seems like it's just going to be a quick take on a Genji. Pulls the trigger immediately. Paranoia stops Quinn in his tracks for just a moment. Sean is already in the team. Mummy backs up to get a frag for himself as Caboose answers as well. And the aggression seems to sting Genji a little bit this round. They recoup a bit in their positioning. Come out where everybody, everybody could be. As we take a look at the mini map, yeah, looks like a great push for food is going to be their demise here coming for window. That's a double, that's a triple for food, and that's going to be the round as Envy put themselves on the board. Where you're going to fire it towards the corner, there's more likely to be a person, and around that corner, it's going to be Win, and they lose a lot of that utility to get from Sova to get back into the site. It's almost imperative for a Haven A take. Yeah, you're totally right. That was such a a valuable pick and some great space. Now you can see that Envy really are very concerned about this. They have to try to clear that out. Takes them some extra time. Starting to make the effort now forward, trying to push through from the window. Genji looking good on the defense so far. And Envy, they are looking to back away here. They've lost a lot. They haven't really gained much for it. And so they have to call it. The save is there and looks like they should be able to get away with all of these rifles. And, and Genji, they've, they've done a good job here. And and. This was all about the retake, just like you said, you know, Riv Envy realized what was possible. They kind of set up for it. They had Dan. We'll see how they play it. Super fast round yet again. Really fast pacing coming from Gen G. And this time Envy with more of a defense, trying to actually hold on to the back shot of the side behind the cage, behind the dark cover. It's working out so far. Mummy able to hold on to position. Now they're able to maybe push position. There's no space for the spike to get one. They have to fight their way out of this one. Mikhail is gonna do just that, but not for too much longer. Fast packs as well. You'll see them going forward. Here is going to be a little bit on the B. Sean gets spammed down, or Sean spams Mummy down rather, as Crassies trades one back onto Huynh. It looks like B may be a touch and go thing here for Gen G, as they just want to get the scatter on Envy to see if any of these sites are open. And I'm sure GMD is making that call right now. Yeah, this is really interesting. I think that Envy's doing a good job in reacting so far, using the drone to get that mid round information on. The A long position. Actually, I don't think it spotted anything. And there's that look you were talking about from GND creeping up. I think he got past the cam as well. And now it's going to create a lot of issues. He's going to be able to get himself using the alt TP all the way over to the A site. And in terms of a positional thing here, the Gen G have completely outplayed it. Right close to the site. If Spike is down, they have a huge advantage with the Hunter's Fury. And the first few shots have to count. There it is. They use it right away to cause the chaos. Both ultimates snapped exactly at the same right moment to cause MV to think twice, and it works 5v for well, and they're winning on positioning. That's that's perfect if you're an attacking team, because you're not relying on just mechanical fights. Yeah. And so now MV, they've got to do okay. something here. They've got to get aggressive to try to just throw a wrench response. Genji realized that there's so many players there. They're going to push B. Great defensive shot coming through from Cratchies. He's got to hold on for long enough. Oh. Food is there with the Bucky looking for some fun. And the Bucky's not good enough this time. GMD to take him down. And it's looking rather grim here. Genji, they've got so much to work with. Just splitting off onto the C site, keeping Envy on their toes. And now it's a three versus two off the plant scenario for Gen G. Imagine if that's a phantom and not a specter off of being forced into somewhat of a half eco round. It's, oh, that shot there. You just feel jaded by the gun when you see that large spark come off his head. But that still means he's low. Doesn't matter. Mame's going to overkill on that one with the operator. And Caboose, he's going in. He's got a blast pack. Blast pack with, with the Bucky. He's feeling confident right now. You can absolutely make a play here. Maybe right into the window. Makes a little bit of noise. Oh, the trickster gets him. GMD goes down. Win trades back onto Mummy, and it's just going to be a back and forth here. Taunt him out. Half defuse. Pros don't fake. Pros don't fake. Oh, he has to get off knowing the peaks are coming in from Win. Turns his head as Caboose tries to duck. But Win hits the brim of his cap and knocks it off. And so now they're kind of struggling. We get the early Hunter's Fury there from Crash. He's this great angle. Punish, and we can see that there's a reaction from Gen G trying to charge into the C site. Finesse able to defend there as well. And now, finally, Envy, you know, coming off the better of these early exchanges, having to use an ultimate for it, but still, three versus five for Gen G, and they've got to try to work the positions that they have here, Rib. What an interesting round. Envy is staying on their own side. I don't know if I've seen this before. <laughs>
that's working out for them though. They're letting Gen G come to them. One of the benefits of being on the defending side, and Envy definitely do a little bit of a paradigm shift here in how they consider the approach. A little uh, damage over. No, Kusta doesn't take anything on that. He will have a good bit of utility. 45 seconds left. Feels like the world if you know what you're doing. And he has a lot of time. One to the right. Grabs a bit of info. But they just surround him from everywhere. Three for Crash. He's there. Envy's starting to feel good as they pull. Envy really keeping them guessing. Charging oh towards the safe site. And Finesse sitting in the cage. The, the daggers come out. Oh, it's actually going to whip the right click. Allowing Finesse to survive for longer. Push mid and already. They can't deal with this position. They're stuck right now. They can't gain ground. Envy are defending very well. And there's just nothing left. What? And again, they'll do that little bit of a push, Dan. Uh-oh. Oh, and there you go. It's going to work out beautifully well for Envy. You know that at these early timings of the round, it's going to be quite likely to find these Gen G players. I'm liking that Envy have the confidence to make some plays. You can see that they know how to coordinate around their their uh, utility to do so. Yeah. And Gen G, they don't have anything left here. The spike is down in grass. It's in no man's land. There's no real way to recover that without hitting some crazy shots. Juice is going to work on that, but he's only good for the one right now. And GMD, all he can really do here is do some extra damage to the economy of Envy, but he won't be able to accomplish. Caboose, oh dear, able to get that one, Sean, great entry from him. The running back pops immediately, straight towards C-Link, will get dropped, but there is control towards A-Link here for Gen G. That's really important, getting extra post point control here on this site. Trace coming through as Envy forced the issue, looking to try to find a way onto that B-Site. It's not happening just yet, and again, they're having to deal with these forward positions, but win here just waiting. Why oh. Ailing is wasting so much time and he's still alive. That's allowing so many individual fights to go the way of Gen G here. And they're just picking them apart. They're not there's too many angles for Envy to look at here in these rounds that Gen G starts to get a hold of. Into the site comes FNS and one more. That's food. They're gonna be able to drop the two. It's now a very big possibility. They get this round. The defuse now to 90%, and that's the locket for a six to six first half. Healers, but it looks like finally. And be looking to gain some more control here. Gen G, though, we oh, well, moving oh. straight forward into the fight. They do not care. They want to win it in garage, but it's going to be even trades more or less. Gen G are a man down and crashes. He's found his way to the back of B. Oh, he's giving his position away. That's an opportunity for win. One that will not be seen through to the end, unfortunately for him. And MV, they're going to see it through to the end. Pick Love to see that camera pulled back so they can get into, into sight as fast as possible. The dart was used to get down C, but that gun in a death ball could be very, very useful. A bit of a rotation. You're still going to have Sova come from the other side so they can get an efficient dart down into the site when necessary. Shots getting fired here. Food cleans up two. 20 HP finds a third one. His second 3K coming up quick in this match. And just a, uh, a troll from FNS as he's creeping up. I'm Mikhail. Well, their utility to keep everything as safe as possible to prevent their opponents from surprising them. It's, it's up to Gen G to be creative in a situation like this. And it's win to replace this position that maybe Envy feel like is clear, but we'll see how diligent they are. Win jumps around the corner looking for Caboose, but Caboose is just a little bit too far away. I like it. I, I was kind of hoping they got a lot closer before like the Vandals surprise was, you know what I mean? Uh, shown they haven't really shown that they do have those vandals coming in for themselves here But they are avoiding gen G in that buy very accordingly on the side of envy now getting themselves into C site Showstoppers there if any trouble comes of this round So it looks like another round here for envy and this is that buy for gen G 30 seconds left. Uh, With two vandals on some and they're just trying to squeak out whatever rounds they can here They know once envy gets a stranglehold on the game. It's very hard to get back in yeah, definitely. And it's one of those things, too, where we saw that Genji were calling the shots. They had that good start, and yep. they were able to really capitalize on sort of how they were conditioning the defense. And that's the same kind of situation that Genji are in now. Then they're in this position where they're going to have to find a way to take the initiative. Take Makes a shot happen before it goes off. They're going to keep taking a little bit more control here over C. Already FNS on the flank trying to watch window GMD takes him down though feeling comfortable But now 10 HP has to call for the cavalry before he makes a move and Mame knows that is a very low omen in the window, but he's looking at the wrong way timing occurs and Dan This could be a possible retake 4v2. There's a showstopper 
Nice by Caboose, not to ever commit. He's played it perfectly, and that's going to leave very little left in the tank for Gen G. In fact, just one man left standing. And although Mikhail is going to be able to get one kill, it's going to be a tough ask to find the remaining two with the time that he has. These, of course, are professional players. They're going to use the clock against him. In fact, Boot, he's found his timing in point at the moment because we can see that Genji are trying to throw some challenges in here. They're forcing the action. Very nice dodge from Win. He can't keep himself alive, however, as Envy have control of this mid position. They're able to rotate quickly and they're looking to go for that C side. They understood exactly what Genji were doing and so they know that the C site itself is open. Great play from Kusta though, using the cage, using the trip to be able to hold onto backside, key position, to get his teammates to rotate through, to help him on this retake. Another trip connecting, and Envy is still finding a way to defend, but there's Sean in the 1v1. It's gonna be a tough one, but we'll see if he can do it. It's, oh no, Kavis of course is waiting on the body. On deck for Sean and Mikhail, they'll have to rely on the Blade Storm here. These ultimates may just be forced out. And it's uh, Envy with the Sova ultimate. If there was some action for Finesse there on short, but he does lose that position, so they'll settle on the B site. They've got no post plant positioning. They're just on the site right now. We'll have to see if they... I mean, they're hitting the shots, Riff, so maybe it doesn't matter. Envy goes B the first few rounds, leaves it up to the A and C for the rounds in between. And they're like, you know what? Let's just uh, train this one into B real quick, and we'll huge swamp onto A site. Looks like they're trying to get over. They've all gone onto the rope to make sure that happens. Flank's not currently being watched, but they're not uh, in a problem there since Genji's not coming around. Spike planted 5v5. As this round has been a little weird to start, as everybody was so close and nobody has gone down yet. Yeah, it's, uh, it's always fun when you see this, but you know, eventually something has to give and we'll see the execution come back into the side here on this retake attempt. Genji using the cover as best they can, but they are going to have to get these kills. They are pressuring the spike now, trying to get the time down, at least get it to halfway as we've got a win. Just going for the fight here, up close and personal. Envy, just like that, knocking every plant here for them to work with, and that will allow them to fall off of the, the spike itself. This is going to be tough. You can see Genji using the numbers here, trying to coordinate everything. They know they don't have to rush this. It's down to Mummy getting a couple on the entry, and there is a beautiful paranoia. That's going to deal with him. Great damage coming through from Finesse, but is that going to be enough? Huge flank from Crashies. Trying to stop. He actually stopped running just in time. He might be able to do something here. I don't think he's going to get to the spike in time. Grim is going to be pretty difficult here. Just, yeah, this is not the angles. And that's going to be the round there. Just wait and, re and just force them to move and then re and, you know, go back into the A site. He's gone for this B play though. He has the lockdown as you guys can see. He's going to pop that immediately. And one of the great things about that is it is going to buy him time for a full rotation on the flank. And that's kind of the purpose of doing this. And we'll see if it, it works out for him, Riv. It's bold. Creeping on in. So remember, the spikes to his left. He's relying on a bit of the utility. And GMD with the sixth sense comes up big. Nice. A great play. You always love to see a little around the world from the uh, solo planter on attack. I'm trying to make that uh, big down and get out. And you're right, though. The, the kitchen play for Sean has just been easy one, two, threes. They keep walking into him. And it's not even that he's in kitchen this time. He's in hell of A. And he's taken down one after another. Oh, Kusta from the top side. And it looks like Catwalk and lower is going to be a big problem for them. Kusta's shooting true right now. And Genji just stops Envy in their tracks on this one. Crashy. 3v1 situation. 2v1. Crashy. Popping him. Here's another shot. And he knows where one is he just has to find the other knowing they may be working together that's the find he knows both are just on the back side of a but he's got to do the small peaks here hold at an angle waiting sees one this is this is tight dan oh it's very tight the crash he's, he's making it look possible it's going to start happening as they're close up here and you can see all of Genji peeling back now to get towards that A site, but they're at yellow. Sean with the transfer. Beautifully done. Almost takes down food as well as he gets two from GMD. And Genji is just striking true right now as Win takes to the air, takes down Caboose, but he's not the last one this time. That's FNS trying to hold the right side, gain intel and info as the team was going ham on B. And he's now got to deal with Blade Storm as well as two other intel grabbers here to get into the site and defeat this 3v1 with a frenzy. And there we go, it gets caught out. It's it's definitely, Finesse is definitely a dangerous spot. Not knowing where MB is. Plant in A, Dan, let's see what they got. Yeah, just again, that killjoy luck creates the opportunity for a huge rotation. 
and to play off of this A site. Oh, a Killjoy lockdown coming through from Kusta. It's going to force the ultimate, the Hunter's Fury, which would have been nice to have post-plant, yep. but that's going to be taken out of, the, out of the equation. So there's two also another fight as Genji look for this retake, but here is the lurk from Caboose right in the back. The rocket comes out just oh, in cover in time to get the rocket off. Didn't look like he had the time for that, but Caboose finds it. Now down to the one versus one. And GMD has a lot on his hands. The jump peak from Finesse to bait the shots. And there's going to be enough time for the defuse from GMD. Very well played there from Gen G. Mm -hmm. 11 or something like that. Uh, yeah, 11 they... or something in a row. So it can happen again. It certainly can. And Envy looking to go for that B long presence once again. Get control here. We saw that worked out for them last time. Looking a little bit more committed. However, and so are Gen G. You see GMD is just standing in the middle of the site. He's got support from Win as well with that operator. So not too much to be done there for Envy. They have to reset out. And you can see Mikhail is waiting for that. However, I don't know that they're, they're wise to this lurk from Mummy up the tube into Kitchen. But doesn't matter. Gen G are able to deal with every single situation and they will crest. A great initial start there to just slow things down. Mikhail easily getting that. Figuring out who else he has to fight. Gets one ping, but Caboose stands tall in the middle of the site to take that one down. Still good spam. Sean, these guys are just on point right now with spraying it down, knowing they are hitting their opponents. And that one's a pretty easy one, but over and over again, you see these guys consistently hit it. It's still impressive. 40 seconds left on this round. FNS loves to play the clock, and that's exactly what he's going to have to do here. One digital molly up, as I call him. And he's waiting 20 seconds left. on that turret for a little bit of HP here, or for a little bit of help, I should say. Looks like that wasn't audible to Sean there. He's on the site. He didn't turn at yeah. all on that sound cue. So it's like Does he shoot him right away is so the question. Oh, no. oh, the timing has been spotted now, I believe. So his lurk is not going to come into play as much as, in fact, GMT is going to just take him down. So. Uh, a good chance here for Gen G on the retake with that flank presence. What an impressive change in mentality from map one to two. You can see the confidence exuding from Gen G here, pushing up more, being the first to take the one v ones and not waiting. But I, they're making me eat crow for saying this team's gonna have a hard time retaking with just the blind and find utility. All the shots are counting. It's not really mattering what they're bringing to the table otherwise. Seeing a aim in. Oh, just the side peaks as they're both tiptoeing around the bottom side. GMD and the rest of the team diving in as Wynn comes up with the blade storm as Kusta is the one to finalize it on to Mummy and just like push up into safety. Everybody, it's, it's the play to not lose round and G, uh, GMD finds the first one, takes a bit of damage himself as the team is nicely set up here on the A site. And they don't have too much of rotation yet. I like the fact that they still have Jet over in B to cover anything. Sean is wrapping around 410. Oh my. Insane play from him. Able to get so much value and damage, removing all forward Woo. position from Envy. They are struggling now to get their way back in. Food, though, doing what he can to give them something to work off of, and they're going to push left. forward off of the back of that. Looking to get this control of the A site, but Genji, they don't want to give this up, and there's not too much for them to have to worry about. They can play off each other. You see some great positioning here from Genji. That if Envy are to try to force the issue here, I mean, Food, we can see that he's walking into us. What on earth was that from Food? Able to find those two kills. As I was about to say, that setup looked like it was perfect to deal with him. And now just barely enough time to get the spike down. Is he able to hold on to this one? He's trying to hold it. There comes the dash for a win, and it's denied. 10 to 2. Owl Drone was looking just now. Good coverage to start the site. A bit of utility used quite early there. Doesn't seem like too much return on investment. And... Win, wait a minute. Still alive. He put himself in the front of three people. He does not deserve that, but he goes up with a kill. Beautifully played. And now the rest of Gen G is unloading as they try to get into the site. Who's decision is it could be the B hit right now. It makes a lot of sense too. They do have that Sage Wall, which is pretty useful in, the, in these post plants to protect that spike going down. And looks like Kusa is going to find food on the flank. So. All good so far as Genji, in fact, they may not have to play a post plant. There isn't going to be a post plant, really. Have the Raze and the Sova alt almost coming up. So the way those can, they can be capitalized on round to round is how Envy could stay in this game. And it looks like they're not even going to have to use a few of those to get back in. Good shots from Food and the rest of the team as Sean answers back here. 
And it looks like one more round will be possible. How many after that is the question. GMD trying to make it work with the Sheriff here in sight by himself. It's 3v2 right now, and they got the work cut out for him. His food has quite the round and the 3k. More yep. of a response towards A, so they can get some free walks up mid. Um, because that might be something that they they would like to go to. So that's something to watch out for. Like an early round timing where they just walk up mid. Um, but it ultimates here. They're going to burn them. The, the Hunter's Fury comes through from Mikael. He's going to destroy the lockdown. Genji really want to try to win the round right here. Oh no, Mikael was actually going to take down Sean, I think, with the Ooh. last bolt of the Hunter's Fury. And three versus three here. Envy, very doable retake. They have a Hunter's Fury of their own as well. There comes the tap to put the pressure on Genji straight in from the back, though, taking down two, leaving it all on Mummy. A lot of work to do, a lot on his shoulders right now to save them. Genji are in kind of a spot where they can't not do this play right now, and I think Envy knows it, and they're moving in for that play. The ball's going to go up for, uh, for Elbow, but it's actually going to make it up there, and great defense from Cubby from Food for the double, which will leave things not in the best of places because the spike needs to be planted. There's not much time to go down. It's going to have to be planted in the tube. That's going to force Caboose to drop the paint shells. That is... Oh, oh dear. Okay. Ubot not going to land and Caboose has to take the 1v1s with a friend. With this stack. However, the, tele uh, the teleporter play could be in order possibly here depending on how well this entry goes and it is some trays off the bat but they have to back away. They didn't get the ground. They may have to reset this. Yeah, that felt, especially with nobody coming through hookah, it makes it a little tougher. You just have to fully commit if you're going to, and when it doesn't work right away, there's a pause. You don't have a secondary uh, to think about coming from hookah. So here, that finally steps into play. They feel a little more comfortable. Sean's going to be the sentry here with 10 HP. If he goes down, somebody possibly trade. What a shot there! Does pick one up at FNS and crash. He's answers back right away before that kill can come through. And it is just a swarm of MV members on the e play. But for now, he's playing fairly safe, I think, on top of the APC. And that's uh, kind of a dangerous angle. But oh, bye -bye. Sean, some spray through the smoke, calling it. They they realize that the old plays have been coming out, and there's a punish. That's a good point, especially when we get this many rounds in. Or it's honestly only four. But as the frags come out, you're getting close. One orb can make a difference if you're diffusing, if you're planning, and getting a few kills. Still a lot of time left in this round four. Hello. <laughs> Kale finds something he does not want to fight against just yet. And Mummy with the operator here. He's trying to make a big impact on these next rounds, but he is now close quarters. Doesn't mean he's going down. It just becomes a little tougher if he can get the pick down. There's one. Takes a shot to the back. And it's just the angle food has that he is, uh, sorry, GMD has that he's able to take one down. There comes the curveball right at the flash. Food is just Ooh. unstopped. Time to try to make a push before that, before they make the move first. I'm here watching Mummy again. I, I love that point about the op. He is super versatile in the weapons that he can use and still be incredibly effective. Some You see him on split, then switching to the jet here. He's on the omen. He's got the operator, and he is locking down B. Might see him for a second. Oh, daddy Oh, Where's he going to teleport to? Can't make it just yet on the tail end. A Hunter's Fury's going to miss. And Gen G is trying to make their way in still. They have lost one member here. Envy still four ultimates to defend this site. Kusta lurking back up short B. He might catch the player out of the TP. And indeed, Crashies goes down. That's who could control once again in the hands of Gen G. Looking fairly good. If they can get the spike planted, they'll be good to go. But it's just about finding the, the time to do it. And you can see food lurking around Garden's going to be able to deal with Sean. So now, if it was difficult before, it's even more difficult now maybe even starting to feel impossible spike yeah. may have to be planted in the tube here kusa's half i mean to come out of hookah so we can assist his teammate that's not a good sign here's the tp as well so there's additional pressure on the flank there's so much to worry about here for genji so somehow though kusa able to take down food as the challenge comes through there's the showstopper out from kaboosh out from hookah gets taken down my god Queen able to find the double the kaboosh is taken here he's, he's moved up uh, a short knowing that there's very rarely any presence here. He can get up there for free. So there's a bait set up with oh. a mummy there and possible paranoia. He's going to create lots of problems here. Great setup that the paint shells come out as well. And no way. Taking down wind. There's no trade possible. Falling back with the boombot sent out to cover his tracks. There is no way to trade these kills for Genji and they are in a dire position. 
I love that point out, the bait you called. Because as soon as you hear an op, it instantly draws focus. Oh, we got to take that out first. And nobody remembers to check the corner. What a round for Envy so far. Kusta, though, stepping out of the smoke with a beautiful... Quick snapshot there as Mummy left. answers back. He has so far been unstoppable. Omnipresent at the B site. Now the A site. Does GMD shut him down? Just misses the shot there. Heads himself over, but he gets pinged, so they know now he showers, and GMD does find a target. Food with ultimate there. Run it back as ready, but does he need it? Tags him just a few times. 11 seconds left. He knows he has the pressure. Couple on the side. Can he find the kill? It's very labored, but Food just barely finds it. Of course he does. Getting everything he wants so far this game. 10 HP as he taps the spike. He knows someone's U Haul. The confidence is huge from Food, but this time, think back, or rather, uh, credit situation with Genji mm -hmm. are back into a five versus four. However, the ultimates, as they stand, looking pretty good for both teams. Great pick up there from Caboose. Again, that ult orb still there, just sitting up. And the battle over it just continues as Sean gets the trade eventually. Four versus three. And with all of that action, Genji decide that it is the time to strike here now. So much pressure around showers. Let's hit that B site. Audio shot, nicely done by Crashies. Playing the site, and it's just a bit faster for a GMD. When is he not coming up with two back to back on these rounds? He's putting so much pressure on Envy right now, but it's going to be Omen v Omen. It's, I think, what we're going to see first. You have one hiding now. Mikhail in the tub. They're both actually going to go long here. No, switching. They can't figure out what they want to do. They know he's up top. Nice TP out. Keeps himself safe. Ducked inside. That dark cover. Oh! Econ running. You need everything in a very tied game. Control there from Caboose, but he is still found by Michaelis. There's just too much to shoot that raise in the air. Oh my gosh, Mome. Again, another two back to back. Possibly a third, and it is three striking true between the eyes of Gen G. Little bit here and give themselves some padding. And in Envy true form, they're going to be pushing mid immediately. And come on, another twofer to start the round. That's a great punish. Really nice positioning. Envy, again, trying to capitalize on the fact that short A is often clear at that timing of the round, but not this time. Envy, though, they still have Mummy in position. We'll get dealt with, and it's going to be very difficult to gain ground back. You can see it's a desperate effort from Crashies. He didn't want to give up the site. He wanted to try to get something going, knowing how many players that are still left alive. It had to be go big or go home, and unfortunately for Crashies, he went home as choke points. They're taking it very tentatively. Great little satchel up from Caboose to keep himself alive. That was a very touch and go fight to showers. HP is just being dropped everywhere. Sean still finds a shot. That's what he's been looking for. And a big entry into the A site. Peeks towards that. They can't see anything towards that CT or that spawn entry for defenders. 10 seconds on the plant. And he's going to easily get that down. A bit of utility to be used. Two more ultimates here. If they could get a res somewhere around the map. And a nice shot by Crash used to open it up. They have full health coming in with three. This looks very possible for Envy. Yeah, Recon Dot available as well. There comes the TV from Mummy as well. Get some extra info. Sean with a nice peek and finds a second head as well. And Gen G. They may they had start of info, so they might go get it. But here comes the play straight through. Challenges in through Garden. And it's looking pretty good to start things off with for Gen G. Getting some of those key opening kills. And it's not looking like any ground is going here to Envy as they try to take control of the site. They are getting gunned down left, right, and center. Woo. No trades at all. And Gen G going from strength to strength. Maybe it'll work out though because they are managing to get forward onto the side here. Mikhail, can he stop the plot? He can. That's a big move, but still, food is left alive. He can only do so much though with that help and the. The preparation comms are out. There was a nice dart from Gen G down B long, so they know a lot of this hits coming towards A, but how ready is that aim? Envy coming up big. Shots from Gen G. GMD comes up and he says, Yeah, there's two here. I'm staying safe. Please come to give the assist. Has run it back available so that there is definitely a lot of scary things. Oh. Well, you know what? Crashies. He might just make this very anticlimactic. That's a very strong showing right off the bat. He's not done. He's going to take down the KL as well. I was about to get things up. We'll talk about more about that later on. The Hunter's Fury is going to come out and for both teams. It's all over the place. Who is on top after this? Okay. By the way, and Food is going to use that space to go forward to get another kill off the running back. And that's going to create a very very strong scenario here for Envy. I, this is a difficult one. They'll have to find something, Genji, early on to make an argument for this. But that, that was the opportunity. If Sean picks something up there, 
I think they can really consider committing here. And I think saving wouldn't be a bad decision in this spot. But you can see Genji are confident. They're seeing if they can get another quick kill. But the longer it takes to get that first kill, the less time you have and the harder it becomes. And a great two-man setup there in U-Haul. That's going to completely shut this down. And there might be a, a potential that they were going for this rift because oh, no. Win had the res available. But he knows it's a phantom on the other side, so he's trying to play it. Oh, just do it! No, oh, he gets crashed. He's trying to hide in the corner. Koos is going to find another one as they're pushing up through that mid area. Nicely done. And will they be able to get a little bit more off of this? Mummy, always good for one to answer back. He's been getting quite a few doubles throughout the rounds. Caboose is in, tagged up by the tripwire. And a nice little stack here coming out of showers is going to try to give Gen G the advantage. But things have now slowed down with members dropping everywhere. Yeah, the showers players are really key because they won't have U-Haul control. But if they can have yeah. these two places to retake from, that's great. And, okay, the wall is going to slow them down for me. Well, in fact, it doesn't actually slow them down even <laughs> at all, I don't think. Not even like a millisecond. So never mind that. But it will be a quick switch up through the TP for that B plant. And it's still a retake situation for Gen G, but they have wor worse post plant positioning. And then we have more time to gain their own post plant positioning. So that switch up in with the TP is, is perfect. But still, it's going to be tough. All right, Rez came through. Genji looking a little bit better here with a few heals coming through as well. Cypher, the only one hurt on the side of Envy as Caboose is pushing up, trying to play this smoke. That's behind him, and that's the perfect time to take the chance. Mummy comes out with the paranoia, but it's not going to be enough. Genji find the frags that they need, and is it going to be enough time? As long as Wind doesn't slip and cut the wrong wire, they're good to go. Oh, and Mummy, that's a huge TP there. Straight towards heaven. They know he's there. Sean with a great double. That's a massive play. Again, Hunter's Fury now coming through from Mikhail. trying to slow things down. And he's going to have a lot to work with. He knows surely that the Mummy's coming for him. And he's going to take the fight. Mummy is going to win it. Though. He's sitting in spawn, creating problems. There's chaos everywhere. Crash in the 1v1 against Kooster on site. And Mummy again, the X Factor in the round with that. Um, exhausted by the opponents as well by just pressuring things. And now finally they arrive onto the A site. Looking good for the plant. Close. FNS able to take down Sean there. A lot of util coming in in the correct spot. Showstopper is up for Caboose, but he's going to make it work. Like I said, if they don't have to use too many alts here, it feels pretty good. Caboose does fall. Not a problem as Win with the shorty transferring over from B Hookah here to see what he can get on any exits. And you don't see too many people exiting here unless you're hunting. I don't think any hunting needs to be done. They're looking to keep all the weapons in their hands here. So NB coming on to bind, feeling warmed up, still being pressured super hard by Gen G coming off a, a great Icebox showing that they were able to come out on. Definitely didn't expect to see Icebox as a second map within this best of series. Somewhere in it, but maybe first. And we've had both teams winning each other's picks here, so. Coming through, Caboose there with the showstopper trying to punish. Big frag from GMP by Yuho Kusta as well, delivering. Ooh. That's going to even things up into a three versus three here. Minute to go, and the spike is being planted. There is Yuho control. The swing comes through from GMD. Oh, oh my god, he's annihilating everybody. Mikhail as well chimes on through, and it looks terrible, terrifying for Genji at the start of the round, losing Sean, the neural theft coming. Corner on Sage, and they're feeling good. A little bit of pressure uh, lifted as a sigh of relief, but there's still... Oh. You're always hoping. You're like, come on, disappear, disappear. Don't have the range. <laughs> gets a good scene right away there, Caboose. Loving the Ion Phantom here. He just keeps crushing it. He's going to blast onto the site. They find Win there. They know that Vandal is there as soon as he takes a shot. And that's how Food gets the advantage. Loving the chaos. I said it before. Envy thrives in it, creating that opportunity for them to open up the door through just flying around the site. 12 to 10 here. 5v3. Looking grim. Dan has Gen G. Try the retake. There is a showstopper and it's going to come through right now. There it is, but it's denied instantly by Food. It's desperate. Coming straight through the dark cover with that one. Can't hope for too much for GMT. He's been amazing so far on Vine, but it's... Oh, no! Oh, no, God! I can't believe you've done him like that!